Greetings fellow and future Star Citizens, Grey Headed Gamer here and we're back on Star Citizen Island for part 3 in our whole series to give us a size comparison to see these monstrous new cargo ships and I say monstrous because the whole sea is monstrous. You can see it peeking up over there. The difference between the whole B and the whole C is on an order of magnitude that I can't even really uh, explain. So let's just come over here. Uh, a sense of scale is very important. So I've added some figures in over so we can just walk from this freelancer max here with our little standard uh, six foot character model, uh, two meters for all my guys across the pond. Uh, here is the whole B. Uh, it's hard to get an idea how big that ship is, but it is a lot bigger than the Freelancer. So next to it, we have our Connie Taurus, uh, and you can see the beast behind it back there. So the the ship we are looking at today is the Hull C, and in order to try to give some scale to this thing, that is the Hull A underneath it. You could fit the Hull A into the crew compartment of the Hull C. It's monstrous. And... Uh, it's hard to give you an idea, but it is 4,800 standard cargo units. Now, the, the Taurus beside it was 1,900 freight units. You divide that, now that's a newer number, so if you divide that by 4, that's 475 standard crate units. The difference between the Hull Sea and the, and, and the Taurus are amazing. Now, of course, the Taurus isn't really a good comparison, but it's the biggest cargo ship that we have. Um, the reason I didn't give a cargo number for the Freelancer Max is because I believe the Max numbers are still wrong. But look at this. The the whole A could seriously fit in that crew compartment up there, guys. Um, I'm going to walk off this platform over here so we can get kind of a look at it. Uh, until we do some in-air flybys, it's hard to get a good view. But I like to get them from the ground uh, because where I'm looking from is at a standard six-foot kind of eye level. And it gives you a better idea, but... Uh, if you just, you know, you, you look at that, that Taurus, you, you know how big a Taurus is, or a standard Connie, uh, next to that whole C, this thing is freaking amazing. Uh, I, I really don't know what else to compare it to. I guess I could put maybe um, a, a Reclaimer or something next to it to give you a better scale, but for a ship that's in-game, the Taurus gives you an idea. So there is your whole C, guys unbelievably huge with six size two gimbal mounted weapons and two size one gimbal mounted weapons uh, I'm gonna hop off this side of the platform so you can see the six TR8 thrusters yes I believe those thrusters themselves are about the size of an Aurora <laughs> absolutely huge but you're gonna need it to get all that weight going around with with a 4800 standard cargo units that's just that's just amazing. So we'll fly up here. We'll come around a little bit, give you an idea of what you're going to be working with with a whole C. You are going to need quite a few uh, escort ships for this thing. You are going to be a large target, and with the weapons that do come on this ship, it is not going to be enough to defend from. You know, if you have four, maybe five pirates that want what you have, you're going to need you a. Uh, you know, a small armada of uh, escort ships to keep you safe. So here's your whole sea, guys. Uh, if you bought a whole sea, you are going to be able to haul the world, man. And I've actually taken a look at the, the D and the E, and I don't know how I'm going to fit them on my island. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out all the other Star Citizen YouTubers out there. Big thanks again to Kevin Tipcorn. You are the man. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time with the whole D, hopefully. I will see you guys later.